Well, just when we was in Melbourne, just the Saturday seminar we did, one guy was late for the Sunday seminar because his, his wife is an emergency nurse and she was dealing with a 15 year old boy who was, was in a coma yeah. after a brain scan because he'd been punched in the back of the head in the street. Mm -hmm. King hit. Yeah. I mean, what is a king hit? It's a fucking ambush. Yeah. Yeah. It's an assault. It's an ambush from behind. Sucker punch. Yeah. What would negate yeah. a king hit? Awareness. Yeah. 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 That's why it's so much, it's so important. It is exactly that, cow punch, yeah, so I can't eat you from one. But, there's no rules. You want the highest probability of success? Well, that's what a criminal will employ. We were more, I was more thinking, as opposed to us, potentially getting in trouble. But, I mean, obviously you're indexing and then holding yeah, yeah, down. Yeah, about control. It's probably yeah. your, your big thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but if you're going to preemptively control and restrain or hit anyone, you're only going to do that in the context of there's a pre-assault queue. So the thing you'll know, as a police officer, regardless where you are, you must know as a civilian. Anything you do, you'll have to articulate why you did what you did in a court of law or to a police officer. So how you articulate your defence is very, very important. Okay? Two key words you need to remember is reasonable and necessary. Yeah. Was what you did necessary? So I put it to you, if this person presents a threat, so in order to present a threat, he has to have three elements present. He has to have ability, opportunity and intention. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. yes. So if I'm stood right in front of you, you stand up, and I'm stood right in front of you here, you know, I've got opportunity because I can touch you. Do you understand? Mm. I've got intent because I'm pissed off, and I've got ability because I'm a mean cunt. Do you understand? Therefore, I constitute a threat to your safety. Do you understand? Yeah. But in order for you to deal with me, it has to be necessary. Now, if there's the exit, and you go to walk to the exit and keep walking, it's not necessary for you to tackle me, is it? No. Therefore, it's not reasonable if that exit was available to you to preemptively strike me. You know? Because the court of law will say, well, yes, of course, the CCTV clearly shows this man had opportunity, ability, and intent. He was indeed, as you say, a threat. But I put it to you, the exit was right there. You could have run. Why didn't you? That's preclusion. Do you understand? Yeah. If you could have escaped, you fucking should have. Yeah. Yeah. If I let you walk, but as you walk, you go to walk again, and then this time, I'll go, yeah, keep walking, you prick. And then you turn around and go, what you fucking say? Right? Mm -hmm. You gonna play this with me? Yeah. Yeah. So, so I'm giving you some shit, you walk. Yeah, keep walking, you fucking mother. What you fucking say? That's it. Now he comes back, mm -hmm. and now he has to preempt me, that ain't self-defense. Because no. no. he could have kept going. And all these fucking things are relevant in terms of, was it necessary? Do you understand? Yeah. Let's change that to make it necessary. You get up, I've got to give you a problem, you go to exit, I've got to get fucking done knowing you, man. So now I'm blocking your escape route. Do you understand? Yeah. Therefore there's no escape route. So it is necessary for you to prevent me from fucking you up. Do you understand? Yeah. Now you can wait. For confirmation that I will fuck you up, but I'll fuck you up if you wait. Yep. That is your confirmation. Yeah. You're getting fucked up. Yep. Yeah. Well, I put it to you, if I give you some cue that I'm going to fuck you up, such as shift weight, or try to access a weapon, and you preemptively knock me out, or you hit me while I'm still in the game, and you continue to hit me until I'm down, and then you escape, I put it to you, in that situation, it was necessary. Yeah. Yeah. But was what you did reasonable? Well, if you hit me once and I'm down, and you leave, that's reasonable. If you hit me once and I'm down and you kick me in the head, that's not reasonable. If you hit me once and I stagger and now I'm going to fucking kill you and you grab a hold of me and hit me again and again and again so I can't kill you, that's reasonable. Yeah. Even yeah. The circumstances, even though it's extreme. Yeah. So the two key words to remember are, was it necessary and was it reasonable? So what you need to understand is, when you articulate your defence to a bunch of people who have never had so much as a row with their wife, or a bunch of magistrates that are property owners and just don't really understand the, 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 uh, the reality of how you would have felt in that situation, how scared you'd have been, and what danger you were really in, the idea of reasonable is, is going to be floating in the air, yeah. Yeah. skew weird. Yeah. So your idea of reasonable must be in the same ballpark. So yeah. they can at least relate. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. So for instance, punching a child because it's crying is not reasonable. <laughs> is it? No. You know? 
hitting someone with a brick when you could have settled it with a slap isn't reasonable. So keep it in the ballpark. 